Soundstripe. Hi, I'm Susanna. Welcome to the Mapro Masterclass. Today, I'm speaking with Alex Koch de Gurend. Alex has come to spend two days with us and we're visiting a number of properties and meeting with a number of uh, clients, client buyers and client vendors uh, to catch up on the current position of the market. Why KF in the Portuguese market? Why did I try to fill it, which was important? Um, I mean, we've been involved in Portugal, the Portuguese market for many, many years. Um, I would say we probably took a step away during the financial crisis uh, and eased our involvement a little bit. We've been focused predominantly towards the Algarve because as a matter of Mike Frank's international team focuses on where their clients want to buy. So it was demand led when we started 35 years ago. Also it was because two clients said I'd like to buy something in Tuscany. And that's how it all started. And now we're uh, operating in about 64 locations across Europe. Uh, and you know this, this really means that we need to focus on those key markets where our clients are. Uh, as so since the financial crisis, we saw that sort of interest in Portugal returning. And we've always traditionally focused on the Western Algarve, uh, working with a firm uh, in that area, and then obviously the Golden Triangle. Um, we never quite got it right. Uh, we always work with very nice people, but never quite got the sort of the strategy right. And I think uh, we were very excited, obviously, when we met there was the opportunity for us to sort of move that forward. Great. And how do you feel that the market um, has changed over the years? Do you think that um, uh, certain government strategies like the Malapito residence and the Golden Visa has really motivated that, um, that interest in Portugal? I think it has. It's, uh, it's very interesting how the, the sort of profile of a buyer has changed so dramatically over the last few years. Traditionally it was, I'm looking to buy a holiday home, which is actually, if anything, more frustrating for some of our vendors because if I don't buy this year, it doesn't matter, I can rent by next year. You know, there's no sense of urgency. Where I have seen it change now is that with the non-habitual residency, more and more people are looking at this from a primary residence point of view, so actually looking to move here. And I think since I lived here, I mean, my family came here in 1969, I was brought up here, lived here until I was 16, but the education opportunities here were just not sort of up to par compared to what you would expect in other, in other European centres. And that's changed dramatically now, so people are quite happy to bring their kids up here. And I mean, it's a safe, wonderful place we've lived, so uh, it's not a bad thing. No, not so shabby at all, actually. Um... Okay, so um, the greatest trend, I guess, is exactly what you've mentioned. It's, it's really changed from a holiday environment to actually people spending a lot more time here. Mm. So more residential, a lot more people throughout the year, um, and not this drastic change of July, August being the summer and then empty the whole year. Well, so the infrastructures have actually changed to be able to cope with that demand too. Uh, restaurants, um, medical uh, um, infrastructures, school infrastructures as you've already mentioned, just everything, the, the availability, the shopping, what's available here. There's so many changes um, and investment that has been made over the past 10 years for that demand and that growth um, for people that actually live here permanently. What we see a lot of, in fact, is a lot of the Spanish come over and do their shopping here, for example. Um, well, needless to say, really? yeah. the food is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Alex. Thank you for joining us in our first masterclass. I look forward to seeing you more often and sharing more news about the Portuguese property market.